High in the French Alps, a slack line spans 18 meters across a deep ravine. Kenny Belay begins to make his way across on a mountain bike, suspended over a 112 meter drop. He's the first ever to manage such a feat, a huge achievement. It was like 10 ton falling off my shoulders. I was there and I like, it was like, uh, like winning four world championships in, 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 uh, in 30 seconds. It was, uh, it was the best feeling of my life so far. The Belgian cyclist spent a year training for the stunt. He fell from the slack line often. A human is not made for uh, such uh, heights. Even if you're attached, falling off is always scary. It's really not natural. I remember when I fell off the first time, I was uh, screaming like a little girl. <laughs> Kenny Belay is one of the best mountain bikers in the world. He was just nine years old when he entered his first competition. He went on to win one title after another. He spends several weeks every year training in the Costa Blanca. The sun is always shining, the air is fresh, there's no pollution here. Uh, for an athlete, this is the best place to be and to prepare myself for my, for my competitions. That's why I come here in Spain. It's a playground to do all outdoor sports and I, uh, yeah, this, is, this is my life. The sea and the mountains are all within easy reach here. Between training sessions, he often chooses a different sport to relax like stand-up paddleboarding in his lunch break. But then, it's back to the bike. Mountain bike trials are his greatest passion. In this discipline, it's all about balance. The rider has to pass through an obstacle course, usually involving rocks. If the riders touch the ground with their foot, they get penalty points. Kenny Belay has won the trials world championship four times and has topped the international rankings for over 15 years. Street trials are a popular variation of this discipline, where the streets of a city become the obstacle course. Street trials is more about creativity and using the natural urban obstacles as a playground and just be as creative as possible and play around. Jump on everything you see and then spice it up with some freestyle tricks and I also like doing that a lot. Street trials are perfect for creating videos that get hundreds of thousands of clicks online. This allows athletes to market themselves. Here too, Kenny Belay was ahead of the pack, becoming the first trial cyclist to turn professional in 2003. He's developed his own show and gone on tour with it, visiting more than 25 countries. He loves to choose the most unlikely places for his trials, like the TV tower in the Japanese city of Nagoya. Spectacular images like these are great for attracting sponsors. In extreme sports, then you, you, it's, a, it's almost a, a hype to always do things that are crazy and more spectacular and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, the thing is, um, people always had these dreams. I mean, uh, flying an airplane was impossible. And of course, you want to promote your sponsors in a cool way as well. But in the first place, you do it for yourself. And just to, even if nobody's watching, I think we would still all do it and push our limits and see what is possible. Pelé is constantly on the lookout for new obstacles to test his skills. Right now, it seems like the sky is the limit. Only when the sun drops back behind the Spanish mountains does Kenny Belay finally drop back a gear, ready to chill for the evening. Tomorrow is another day and another challenge.